Hey y'all, it's your girl Lala. Welcome back to my garden. So guys, today I will be transplanting out my aloe vera plants. Now, in this container, my aloe vera plants, they multiplied and so many of them, they were not even touching the soil in the container. Here's a prime example. And I have to remove them. So here are the ones that I've already removed from the first container see how many and now just to spin this container around so that you can see look at this they're not even reaching the soil see how they are the roots are long because they're trying to stretch down to the soil but to be honest they were not reaching the soil I don't even know how they survived this long. But as you know, aloe vera plants, they can survive even with just a little bit of water, no soil in containers, or it doesn't matter where you even put them, they will stay alive. Unbelievable. Look at this. So eventually I'm gonna to have to remove at least three of these, well, four of these from this container and only leave just one. Now in this container, look at what's going on. This one got shoved out, unbelievable. As if the plants they pushed this bigger aloe vera out of the container it was taking up too much space guys I did not do it it did it on its own look at this see how many now guys all you need is one aloe vera plant and you will get as many as possible these things are so prolific they will multiply and multiply and multiply all you need is one look at that they're not even rooted in the soil oh my goodness look at this long needed work to be done here guys so much work had become a big sore eye and so I had to get them out. It was time for me to clean up my aloe vera plants on my patio. Look at this, not even rooted in the soil. I was gonna say buried, but it's not even rooted in the soil. Unbelievable. It's just sitting right there. Saw that? Okay guys, so let's move on to the next step. So over here, I wanna show you real quick what's going on. See, the same thing. My aloe vera plants, they have multiplied. Now here's another container that fell off my column. And as you can see, my aloe vera plants they're still there doing well vertically <laughs> so funny so for right now these are my grow cups that i will be using to transplant my aloe vera plants in here is my first transplant
Now, this is what I'm talking about. I've mentioned it earlier. This is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. I've had these aloe vera plants in this pot for months. When I say months, I meant months. It's just a little bit of water, guys, and look at them. That's what I'm talking about. Those I did transplanted um, a couple months back. And let me show you right now. See? I'm already getting babies. See this? That's exactly what I'm talking about. These things are so prolific. Here's another one I'm going to show you. Look at this one as well. I can't make this up, guys. See the babies? Right there coming up. Oh, yes. Now, these are some papaya seedlings. This um, is my Aki seedling. Did not make it because of the cold snaps that we have got. And um, these are some habanero pepper seedlings. Need some water. Here's the other cup of habanero pepper seedlings. And they're growing very slowly. It's been months. But yeah, I'm just transplanting up my aloe vera plants. So guys, let me show you how I'm potting my aloe vera plants. So just a little bit of soil in my container. Okay. And then I'll just rest my aloe vera plant in. And just a little bit of soil on top. Let's get some soil in the back there to support it. And basically that's it. I'm not going to put too much because I have so many seedlings to um, transplant. So just, a, just enough soil to keep it going.
here I'm using these deeper cups to put in the bigger aloe vera plants as you can see the roots are very long as they were trying to reach down in that big container to hit that soil level so I'm just trying to you know try to flex it a little bit in this cup but at the same time I don't want the root to snap and then I'm gonna put some soil around that to bury much of the roots much of its root as possible here it is so this guys this is going to be an experiment so this root it broke from one of my bigger aloe vera plants so what i'm doing right now is to put some soil in this container and you get the idea I'm going to be planting this broken root into this cup and we're going to watch and see if it's going to grow at all okay so there it is this is going to be an experiment never done it before so definitely will keep you posted on that okay as soon as the leaf pop up I will definitely um, let you guys know but here are my olive oil plants that I've potted out in these little cups the black cups are the bigger um, aloe vera plants and the smaller cups are the younger ones or the smaller ones those were done previously okay guys my work is still not done i still have more aloe vera plants to pot out but i won't show you all in this video still got some more right here definitely will be separating these as well so guys definitely will be transplanting out these so that my plants can grow very big and healthy okay and put to good use and guys, if you enjoyed this video so far, give it your thumbs up, leave your comments, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. I appreciate you guys coming and watching. And also my container that fell over and my aloes are growing vertically will definitely be transplanting as well. I will be putting those out separately. But thank you guys for watching.